Hi guys, welcome back to RRC of the Grand Hauler uh, build. So in this video guys, I'm going to be fitting both axles, um, all the bits and pieces that go with the axles. Um, and yeah, let's see how we get on. Let's put some uh, red thread lock on this guys. A bit fiddly. thread lock on all of these guys. It doesn't say put grease on these um, bolts but so I, will. I might as well. I'll tighten these up properly in a bit. Before you um, put the arms on here guys, you've got to get this little drive shaft in, let me see that. So the idea is to tilt it back and then you can get it in because once you've bolted it up you can't, uh, can't get it in. Get them all tightened up, they're all in place. Finish this section off. Okay, so guys, there's the. Just get you in frame there. This axle's fitted to the chassis, like so. So 
uh, to me, it's suspension doesn't travel that far, guys. It comes up against them little stops there, so there's not much given the suspension. Um, so that's about as far as it goes, really. Okay, guys, on with the next. Hey guys, that's uh, one shock absorber on. I'll get the rest on because they're all the same. So uh, I'll get you back on when they're all fitted. Okay guys, that's uh, the rear suspension finished. Hi guys, welcome back to RRC. In this video I'm going to be covering section D, uh, which is the gearbox. Uh, just putting that together and getting that ready to go into the frame so yeah let's get on with it Those C-clips guys or C-clips are uh, a pain to say the least to get on. <clears throat> okay guys, that's the selector shaft. Okay guys, the next section is, uh, is just putting the casings together which house all the cogs, so I'll get on with that. So guys, that's got to go in there which houses the bit, one of the bearings for the shaft. So I'll get this bolted in, I'll get you back on. Okay guys, that's the bearing housing in. Uh, moving on with the next. A six tooth gear. Gear shaft A complete, guys. Let's move on to the next one. Put the bearings and the selector hub here, guys. I should mention, guys, that these bearings here um, they come with these brass bearings. Uh, to me, uh, state do not change to ball bearings, but other guys have, have put full, full ball raced bearings in and had no issues so I'm gonna uh, put them in and uh, see how they go and they've also got to be glued in guys with uh, super glue okay guys I've done a, a bit more 
of the gearbox build uh, off camera. I don't know, bore you too much, but I'll just give you a recap what you're up to. The uh, selector shafts are put together, the actual uh, gear train is together. Uh, that's the going on there. So the next step is really putting putting the uh, all the selector shafts into the gear train and then getting it into the house under the gearbox and screwing it all up. To me it does say apply grease to the cogs um, before you put it together but past experiences guys is uh, it's quite messy so I'm gonna get them into the house and, and then I'll apply the grease. I have put some grease on the selectors um, there because they're not too bad. So yeah, well, let's get on with it. That's the uh, gearbox greased up and um, ready for the casing. You can you can twist this to adjust the motor, get your distance right, so not too tight in the cog, so you'll get it bad the teeth, too tight on the teeth because you'll get it. What I do is just go as far as it'll go into the tooth, and then just lift it back a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Tighten it up. Looks okay. So, Motor on. Okay. Hey guys, um, this is not the stock uh, gearbox casing that came with it. I uh, found this on uh, eBay plated one so I think it'll look a lot better than just a plain old black one so yeah gonna, gonna into the chassis now. For your, your mount back gearbox guys, just screw it in place, make sure you get the prop shaft in before you put it in place, otherwise you uh, will not get it in there. Okay guys, that's the gearbox in drive shaft or prop shaft in so uh, that's it for this video once again thank you all for watching subscribing uh, and I'll see you in the next one bye for now